So imagine you're a doctor. <clears throat> no, better. Imagine you are a hospital uh, expert systems. That means you're a program that's supposed to churn data and advise doctors on what to do. Now, imagine you get contradictory input, contradictory information, what to do. Well, um, if you were a doctor, you could perhaps go to the lab and maybe you know, confront the lab assistant about his mistakes, but you're not. You're a, co you're a computer program, so technically you're stuck on the real doctor's desk, and all you can do is you can, you know, uh, churn data, you can process the information you got, and you can resolve your issues by uh, applying the mathematical apparatus someone programmed into you. And that's a pretty difficult situation. Um, also, it's, uh, you know, running into a contradiction is something you, that's much easier than you might think. For instance, if, you're, if your database allows you to uh, rely on web searches, you can quite quickly learn that cows are herbivores, and yet some cows uh, contract uh, the mud cow disease because they ate parts of other cows. Um, contradictions are also mathematically um, tricky because um, if you use standard classical mathematical logic, you're done. If you have contradiction in your data, the data is useless because once you drop even one drop of a contradiction in your, in your information set, it expands, any claim whatsoever becomes derivable and uh, that's pretty much uninformative. Um, so that, that, that phenomenon where contradictions causes, uh, causes uh, uh, expansion, are call, or the phenomenon is called uh, explosion bam. Now, um, <laughs> um, so what to do? Well, there are, there are some non-classical systems they are called, uh, that are supposed to avoid explosions. They are called paraconsistent logics. But what they do is they try to determine which parts of information are reliable in terms of the way the sentences are constructed. And that's the reason why they really fail, because if you get contradictory input, if you get contradictory information to find out which part of the process went wrong, you have to look beyond the grammar. You have to, for instance, look at the sources and to see in more detail what happened. So, uh, part, of my, uh, part of my recent research is to develop mathematical tools to do exactly that, to, uh, to have some framework that tracks the sources of information, um, uh, cuts out the information that comes from sources that were involved in a contradiction, and then keeps on working with the rest of the reliable information coming from sensible sources. Um, now, um, this is, so, this is just a very short and just one of many examples of the practical dimension of logic and philosophy. Um, please keep it in mind. And before you tell your kid not to study philosophy because it's useless, please think twice because a philosopher might be partially responsible for your next hospital treatment. Thank you.